The Coalition of Northern Groups, CNG, has described President Muhammadu Buhari as a product of Southern arrangements in 2015. The group said Buhari was presented by Southern politicians in 2015 as an alternative to former President Gulag Jonathan. The group's spokesman, Abdul Aziz Suleiman, said to everyone's knowledge, President Muhammadu Buhari was not the candidate for the North in 2015. According to the group, Buhari was packaged by Southern politician, political forces right from the major that produced All Progressives Congress, APC, to his victory at the primaries. The CNG further explained that Buhari was presented by the South as the only alternative to former President Jonathan. He said, as the North was being terrorized by insurgents at that time, it had no option but to accept Buhari. According to the group, the South had benefited more than Buhari's administration than the North, though Suleiman admitted that Buhari's administration appointed more Northerners into critical positions than Southerners. He added that such should not be used to measure the prosperity of the North. Hey, Jesus, if, see better for one night. See better for one night. The CNG said, we all can testify that the North has been the major casualty of the policies of the Buari administration, while the South is the major beneficiary. As far as the North is concerned, Buari was not the candidate for the North, but an arrangement made by the South to suit certain interests. This appointment of Northerners into critical positions cannot be a yardstick for judging a people's development or prosperity. Suleiman said the North has been confronted by a more severe security situation than other regions despite such appointments. Hey, where will I even start from? <laughs> uh, they have to blame Tinubu now. So you have to just tell us that uh, the suffering that you are going through today is as a result of the Southern politi politicians who are uh, their in, uh, individual interests, their selfish interests. And they presented Buhari According to what you are saying, it was it was not your candidate. So who was your candidate that you presented? It was not your candidate. Of course, if you want to look it from another angle, you can say, oh, of a truth that Buhari contested three times because they are always boasting of a uh, billions of votes that the old vote in this old world belongs to Buhari, and they will begin to tell you all manner of cock and boo stories. But at the end of the day, he never won three times. He never won. So they went to go and bring it because I was wondering if this man could be getting this particular vote. They always claim he, he usually gets, whether in Kano or so. Why didn't he win? Because now they are now bragging. Because if I tell this country, Nigeria, the more you look, the less you see. They will be bragging that they are the ones. Is it not the same set of people or is it another group that was telling us that uh, they have what it takes to put anybody in position? They have this, they have that. Now they are saying a different thing but the southerners according to you presented tinumbu i mean sorry you presented buhari but at the end of the day when it comes to juicy positions your people are more but at the end of the day these are the people who will tell you that oh it is not true i think uh, from that area femi adeshino should tell us that what these guys are saying is not true because they will tell you that it is not true they will tell you this a uh, lopsided there's the appointment. This is not true. That uh, Buhari is being si sincere when it comes to appointment and what have you. But these people are now confirming that, oh, they agree to the fact that, yes, yes, Buhari has been favoring the Northerners when it comes to appointment. But when you talk, talk about development or whatever, that is the Southern now that are enjoying it. So tell me, in which area, in which area are they, are they, uh, did they, did the South benefited? I don't understand. Well, maybe from the comment section, you'll be able to tell us because this whole thing, these people, they want to scatter their head. Now, their head, they won't scatter. But at the end of the day, what we can know or uh, we can think of is that they are using tactics. They are not trying to, you know, of late now, they've been trying to withdraw from Buari. They are telling us that Buari is the worst. Buari is this. It's a lie. They know what they are doing. But when people were complaining, Nigerians were complaining that uh, Buari has been favoring the North when it comes to appointment, you say no, it is not true. But now you are agreeing to the fact that it is true. So they should not use that as a yastic. Just like I said, maybe in, in one breath you can agree to the fact that maybe they are saying truth, you know, to an extent, but not really fully. Because he contested three times. He didn't win. So this idea of bragging that Buari is this, to me, he makes no meaning. 
Of course, na tinubu go carry and now say they go join. Like say they no join that man, join hand. Say they won't vote for. If we not go anywhere, we for not even the way we did. If we the so called the tinubu and the colleagues vote, I don't know whether it is only. I can only talk about the south, 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 uh, southwest too, because I don't think whether south east follow when I join presented they presented Buhari in 2015. But these guys are just telling lies. They're just saying, uh, they are just telling nonsense stories. That uh, they did. That means he didn't have hand in it. But that means you 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 are reaping for what you did not sow because you guys got the juicy positions according to what you are saying. Buhari is not your choice. So now you, it is not that you want to bring your choice. Is that what you are telling us? It is not you want to present your choice because Buhari was not your choice. Hi. Oh my goodness, these guys, eh, they are something else. They are something else. Did Tinubu call him agent of destabilization? Yes, he is the emir of failure. Nigeria made a great mistake. Very correct. If we Yoruba, Yoruba package a bad product and give it a face lift, it will sell better than good one. I want everybody before 2015 election and his re-election, everyone should enjoy these most horrible products of all time. Shame on everyone that endorsed this clueless man with antiquated ideas in governance. In 2015, the North had no sellable presidential candidate except this docile igna ignoramus. The North had an agenda with him, but he later had to carry out his Fulani agenda. Cause be to all the Southerners that brought him in, brought him in against Gulag Jonathan. Why you call all we, uh, APC whalers? Why you all APC whalers rejecting your Buhari and his change? Come on, guys. Enjoy the change you voted for both North and West. Buhari came at a time when Nigerians are crying or were crying for change. Let's not blame anyone. Yoruba are not to be blamed. Let's assume he was not allowed to rule then. We wouldn't witness these things going on. But the people that brought him, the people that packaged him, they are still telling you that uh, he's still okay. He's still fine. That nothing is wrong. Is that the same people that, that still want to? If Tinubu can tell us that, uh, oh, that this man is still okay. Till, uh, oh, you see, you see Oshiba your life for outside there. Eh? All of them, they will be telling you Buhari is the best thing that has ever happened. Now, see, there are people who are rejecting him now. And the same people want to come. If they can see all these bad things happening now, and they are saying it is good, that means if they themselves, if they come on board, they will do worse. And they will, they will, they will know that they will get away with it because they will tell you, you will see that nothing will happen. Because with all this nonsense going on how they are still like, no, everything is fine. One of their, uh, the pioneers of the uh, APC, the man that, uh, the man called Rufai, he has left, they say, he no go fit. Before they see go sing poo for their head, he no go fit. And of course now, the way politicians do, they come from one party to another. People always like, oh, I beg you, forget it. And now you, you won't know this. And now you won't know that. See this uh, northern group who have been, who have been supporting Buhari? Anybody that, that kicks against the wrong things Buhari has been doing, they will tell you, oh, you want to remove Buhari because he's a full animal or because he's from the north. Now the same people are telling us that uh, they didn't they didn't endorse him. Like it was a package by Southerners. Hey. <laughs> what a mysterious argument. 2015, the South led by Bola Tinubu resolved to support Buhari because of his northern popularity. So what are you saying? No matter how you hates him buari remains the most popular political leader and not can produce time is the best judge anyway it's like those senseless northern group want to be unfortunate in their life that is a big lie the north was already was ready for war the power if the power did not shift in uh, to the north in 2015 the bandits were recruited at the adapt Purpose. All of them, all of them that are saying that hey, Buhari is this uh, until when he leaves office, that before you go know, you go year when we go year when a lot of these secrets will be made open. Now they are everybody's just patching so that they will get what they want to get before you know they don't zoom zoom off. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.